Thanks for joining us tonight. Starting off this evening, a change of the guard for Nevada Republicans tonight at the GOP convention in Sparks. At John Osquaga's Nugget this evening, new Nevada members of the Republican National Committee were elected. Diana Orock of Clark County defeated incumbent Heidi Smith of Reno and challenger Carol Del Carlo of Incline Village. For National Committee men, James Smack of Fallon beat Bob List for the spot there. The new committee members will take their roles after the Republican National Convention in Tampa later this year. Nevada's Republican Convention had a fair share of conflict, though. News 4's Dora Scheidel was there to take in all the action and brings us the latest tonight. If this clash of cheers is any indication, it was Mitt Romney supporters versus Ron Paul's followers at Nevada's Republican Convention. Even Romney's son, Josh Romney, who spoke on behalf of his father, couldn't ignore the Paul presence in the room. I recognize that Congressman Paul is, is still in the race and working hard. But things started to turn ugly when a woman claims the Romney camp is passing out fake Ron Paul slates. So here's a look at both of the slates. You can tell that this one is the fake one because it's only one-sided, whereas the real one is printed on both sides. And if you look closely, you can see that Carl Bunce, the name of Ron Paul's campaign chairman, is misspelled. Here you can see one of the people who was allegedly passing out the fake slate being escorted out by the sergeant of arms. <laughs> The next conflict erupted when Ron Paul supporters realized the rules weren't being upheld and more than 400 delegates were registered after the 9 a.m. deadline. Ron Paul's campaign chairman Carl Bunce explains why this got him and his supporters so heated. People want to follow the rules. If you, you got here after 9, all of a sudden you're a voting delegate. Uh, it kind of breaks the rules. So, I mean, Ron Paul supporters are, uh, get highly agitated when they see someone trying to manipulate the rules or break them. Then the convention broke for lunch. I just want to yell at people. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't have to worry about people. We're all here. And the fights between Paul and Romney supporters ensued outside the convention hall. But luckily, the problem solved itself. When everyone returned from lunch, the Republican leaders admitted they had miscalculated the preliminary delegate totals. <laughs> then came the moment most of the Paul supporters had been waiting for. Ron Paul approached the podium and delivered a 15-minute speech touting his principles like peace. Why don't we just follow the Constitution and don't go to war unless it's a declared war? Overall, it's fair to say fears of another contentious Republican convention here in the Silver State came true. Reporting in Sparks, I'm Dora Scheidel, News 4.